Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this two-toned circle. First open a new document, then press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Now click in the center, hold and drag. Let's get rid of the stroke and change the fill to a different color. Holding down the control key, click away to deselect. Next we'll create this rectangle. First switch to the pen tool, then select a different color and swap the fill and the stroke. Now draw a straight line that is a little bit longer than the diameter of the circle. Click away to deselect and switch to the selection tool. Now select the line, then go to the stroke panel, increase the weight and apply the round cap. Next we'll convert it into a shape. To do that go to object and select expand. Make sure the fill and the stroke are checked and click OK. Let's rotate this rectangle by 90 degrees and place it over here. In the next few steps we will create this shape. With the rectangle still selected, click on it, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the Shift and Alt keys as well to make a copy. Make sure that the two shapes touch each other. Let's change the fill of the copied rectangle to a different color. Now select both rectangles and let's copy them using the same method. Next press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard several times to cover the whole circle. Select all the rectangles, make sure not to touch the circle underneath, then go to the transparency window and change the opacity to a lower number. Next with all the rectangles selected, reposition them so the left and right sides of the circle are within the blue rectangles. Let's delete the rectangles that are not touching the circle. In the next several steps we will move all the blue rectangles down and all the pink rectangles up to create this effect. Select the blue rectangle on the left and holding down the shift key move it down. Now select the pink rectangle and move it up. And so on. Make sure that the tabs and bottoms of the rectangles overlap each other. Next we will unite all the pink rectangles and the top of the green circle to form one solid shape. First let's select all the pink and blue rectangles and change their opacity back to 100%. Click away to deselect, make sure that the fill is still set to pink and now press the Ctrl and A keys on your keyboard to select everything. Next go to the Shape Builder tool. Now click on the first pink shape, hold and drag over to the top green shape to unite them into one shape. And again click hold and drag. You can do it one by one or click hold and drag across the entire top area to unite all the shapes at once. Now let's do the same with the blue shapes. First click away to deselect, switch to the selection tool Click on the blue rectangle to make sure the fill is set to this color. Now press the Ctrl and A keys on your keyboard to select everything. Switch to the Shape Builder tool and follow the same steps like we did before. Next we'll delete all the shapes outside the circle. To do that press and hold down the Alt key and now click on a shape that you want to delete or click, hold and drag to delete all of them at once. And let's do the same with the top shapes. Finally, if you would like, you can rotate it to get a different perspective. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.